Hey, good morning, YouTubers and friends and followers. Um, just this is unedited and using my phone, so sorry for it, the quality. But I just wanted to bring some things before you, and I'm trying to stay positive. And know it's it's hard sometimes staying positive when struggles are happening, and it just seems like every time you get knocked down or something's trying to hold you down it, and it keep you from going forward. And I wonder, I'm just wondering where, what is God trying to push me out of do into doing something else? Because obviously me working three jobs outside the home for three different companies and then trying to pursue a personal training business and trying to homeschool on top of that and so many other things. <sighs> Apparently I'm going in the wrong direction. That's all I can say. Sometimes you do everything right that you think you're doing right. You work your butt off. You give tithe to the church. You don't drink. You don't do drugs. You don't smoke. You don't cuss. Yet, things still come down on you. And I know the devil tries to keep you thinking, maybe here's the way out. And you know what his way out is. And it's rough because I'm having a hard time today. You know, I'm sorry I look like a mess. I've just taught swimming lessons. And I'm trying to... I was told again this morning, another roadblock. Um, periodontal disease is very contagious. So make sure you don't share drinks or forks or anything like that with your children if your gums bleed at all. Because you have the early signs of it if you do bleed at all when you floss or brush. I'm just trying to be real with you. But life has been... It's been something else. Things start looking good. You start getting back up on your feet. And then it's like you get knocked right back down again. You know, I've got a tooth over here just about laying on its side. It's being held up. But I, know, I can't seem to get in. I don't know how, where to turn now. I've been United Way. Medicaid. Everything. Because you have to make us... Uh, your limit for the household for my household would be for seven hundred and forty four dollars a month to get Medicaid. That's your max. And obviously I don't qualify. And um I'm sorry, minimum wage all the time. You'd have to work over a hundred hours a week. You you just can't make it on and your teeth may be all good and you don't have no cavities but you still lose them I don't have any cavities but the, every dentist I've been to says they won't clean them they'll pull them but who's got $300 a tooth to have it pulled I definitely don't even have $100 I don't even know if I have $50 bills get don't get paid no one in this house makes above really minimum wage van been smoking so I don't have that but I mean things could be worse things could be worse my kids serve the Lord so I'm thankful for that you know and there's people in more situations than I'm in so it's not I, I, I you know should I I'm not complaining I'm trying not to I'm trying to stay positive and focus on what's important and what's the right thing to do I don't know what, you know, it's a struggle. I mean, I've been offered so much advice and everything to go to this part of the dentist or that dentist. No dentist around here will take payments. I've already, I've been to several that for consultations. That's all I could afford. And um, even the, you know, the dental college, school, um, which is over two hours away, it's still going to cost over 2000 to have them pulled. And that doesn't include anything else beyond that. Can't bite down, so eating is getting nearly impossible. <sighs> That's why I entered that bodybuilding contest, because if I can win that, hopefully before my teeth fall out, because I bleed all the time, and my mouth is always nasty tasting so don't kiss neither because it's it's contagious it's um I think period.org said that you have 80 
million um, bad bacteria in your mouth. And um, also, I've contacted the American Dental Association, um, the Association for Periodontry, and all that. I'm sorry, just a, I've been just turned, you know, everybody sends me somewhere else. And that somewhere else sends me somewhere else. Or they say, and I, my son was just diagnosed with early stages because I share drinks with him. So don't share anything with your kids. Um, so, but he's got Medicaid. So they're going to, maybe, they still have to get approval, but they should be able to pay for that, his treatments. He's got to go for every month. And I've talked to them about it, his dentist about it. And they just, if you don't have $300 for each tooth, sorry, it's not going to happen. So I've decided I'm going to try to sell stuff around my house. I've got a lot of um, kind of artwork type stuff here um, and different things, puzzles I've done and glued together because <sighs> I don't know what else to do. I really don't. God must have an amazing plan somewhere or I am, I feel like, you know, I know faith it grows during storms kind of like a tree in the wind. Trees without any storms or wind don't get deeper roots and they don't tend to get stronger and you know so a sh you know either the tree breaks in a storm or a tree gets stronger and gets deeper roots and I'm hope I'm that tree that gets stronger because I don't know how much more wind I can take recently it feels like I'm getting a tsunami and a tornado and an earthquake all simultaneously <laughs> you know and I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying very hard to deal with this. And, um, yeah, and, and I've tried to do natural things, but once your teeth come to a certain point, and it's not the teeth, it's not the teeth. You know, people think, they look at me and they say, your teeth look good. It's all bone loss down below the gum line. There's nothing wrong with the teeth itself. And the last tooth was pulled last year, and it came all out perfect but the gums there was nothing holding that tooth in so it came out really fast and easy <sighs> so I don't know what to tell you I don't know I don't know what to tell me and then I'm believing that apparently God's got something and he's trying to like push me out out of this comfort zone out of what I know now and into something I don't know that I'm going to have to be so dependent on him I don't know. Sometimes I feel like just run. Just keep running and never stop or something. Wow. I don't know. I, I, apparently, I don't know. And, and you feel like you're just not good enough. Some people make you feel like you're not good enough or tell you, you basically you're not good enough anymore. And you could work all the jobs and do everything you possibly can. And you're still not going to be good enough for them. And it hurts. Especially when it's someone that you care about and you... a part of your family. You know, I don't have that. You know, I don't have the family support that a lot of people have. And I know some of you have it harder than I have it. I mean, some of you are really struggling even worse than I am. And I don't want to sound discouraging or anything. I try to bring something positive. And we have to stay strong. You know, we have to stay strong. Because there's got to be something around the corner. If it gets this challenging. Because, you know, after a storm, there's calmness and peace. So after, just got to hang on. Hang on. Because there's a song called My Anchor Holds by Ray Bolton. And it, it just got to hang on to that anchor. Hang on because something good's got to come out of this. I don't know what it is, but God has a plan. We have to trust his plan and wait it out. It's really hard sometimes because I'm tired. You work. You do everything you know you can do. And you never, tr you, no matter how hard you try, it's not going to work. So, 
I thought about it. I could try to sell my teeth, see if people will come pick them up out of my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but but yeah, I'm trying to do that contest, see if I can win some money by getting in shape. I started personal training thing last year, but I haven't really got any clients because it's it's just it's sometimes I don't know. I'm just not a good salesperson. <sighs> Or at least, or I've just, I don't know. I'm not very convincing, I guess. I, I don't know. That's why I try to use my body as an example. So I gotta keep going. Keep trying. Something's gotta give sooner or later. Because this is, I've been struggling with this for years. This isn't something recent that not my mouth, that's not been recent relationships, everything, it's not been a recent issue. This has been going on for many years, and I'm so tired of trying so hard. I don't know. Hopefully, that's why I'm praying, Lord. Just, I'm going to hang on. Hang on. The ship is battered, but i got to hang on in this storm, and hopefully things will come around and um, I'm believing for that I have to trust God trust God in his timing things will work out somehow I feel like okay with all this all these issues for several years I'm trying to hear from God and to know am I in the going in the wrong direction because maybe maybe when you're facing struggles constantly and it's repeating over and over and over, maybe I haven't learned the lesson during the struggle. Maybe I'm supposed to go in another direction and I'm doing something out of God's plan, perfect plan. So I don't know because it, or the Satan is so attacking that he just doesn't, because I know for a fact all my life, because I've been homeless, I've been abused as a kid. I don't have any con. My family doesn't have nothing to do with me. I am. I'm a pretty certain the devil has. A pl the Lord has a great plan for me, and the devil knows that. And he's been trying to take me out for so many years. For so many years. All my life. I'm 42 now. And, you know, when I got around 24, 25, I thought everything was turning around for the better. Everything got, started looking really good. And then. Here we go again. Some other issues. You would hope there would be peace. Lasting peace. I'm trying. I'm going to do what I can. And I hope that you keep up trying to when you're down. Keep going. Keep and ask the Lord to share with you what 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 is your message what is he trying to teach you through this storm because obviously we got to get deeper roots what is he trying to teach us what is he what way does he want me to go i want to go the way he wants me to go do i need to, i just need to probably let go i really want to quit like most of my jobs because i just don't feel like that's where god wants me but I get so much negative feedback if you do do that. I mean, even though I'm not getting paid enough to pay anything, I can put a little bit of gas in a car or something. But yeah, and I don't know. Just pray for me, and I hope that you have a great day and that you will look at your struggles a little bit differently now as a tree in a storm. Get deeper roots and... um stay on top of it okay and i hope in the next videos will be good news and try to show you some workouts and some something positive that will help you get through the days ahead and hopefully i'll have a great report for you have a blessed day